everyone, it's Sister Nima here. How you doing? If you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'm going to be sharing a small bathroom makeover, bathroom organization ideas, and bathroom decorating ideas. If you have a small, tiny bathroom like I do, this will be perfect for you. Or if you just want some inspiration for your regular bathroom, this could probably be helpful for you as well. So that's literally the gold for this video today. I am currently renting a two bedroom apartment in New York City if you're new to my channel. So most of the time, the bathrooms and kitchens are pretty small in the bedrooms everything okay so this bathroom is probably the smallest bathroom I've ever experienced compared to the other two places that I lived I lived in Arizona and I also lived in North Carolina that bathroom was huge I digress I hope to inspire you in some way everything I mentioned in this video will be down in the description box below so let's get into it. so I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the bathroom I'll try to move back as much as I can but it's so small in here this is the front door right here I have this over the door hook from Dollar Tree actually because it was the slimmest one that would fit and then down here is like the ugliest part and that is the little radiators if you live in New York you know most of these places have radiators sometimes you get prettier ones sometimes you get old ones like I have but I am gonna get a radiator cover I just have to find a nice small one the toilet is all the way over here and then the toilet paper holds it so it's a little distance i might find a solution for that too not sure yet towel rack over here not too bad like so i have a little potty in here for my daughter i have this trash can that i've had for a while it's stainless steel but it's starting to rust and i don't think i like the open concept anymore what if you're throwing away something you don't want anyone to really see i have a lot of different rugs that's interchangeable right now it just goes a little bit with the decor i love the shower curtain i've had it for a very long time i do wash it and put it back up because i like the the vibe of it but I'm gonna switch that today and then I normally put a plant there that's the plant that I put this time the fixtures in here is actually not too bad I have a lot of satin nickel and brush nickels the shower curtain rod that came with the apartment is a satin nickel the light up here this is more of a brush nickel you could probably see it a little better right here I wanted to change out the fixtures but I am renting so for the most part they said that I could change a lot of things so this is renter friendly but then semi not because they said we can paint we can make holes in the wall certain places that you rent you can't do that but here we can so I'm very grateful for that but then for certain things I'm a little scary in the shower I hate the shower head I don't know if we could switch it out I'm scared to do it I might do it though I might do it because that is ugly but I love the subway towel I love the all white I do have my own stopper because it didn't come with a stopper which I don't understand why not then up here I have this window part there's no ventilation in here but this window I'm grateful for the window just to let some air in here but I keep it close for the most part and then we kind of use up here as a storage ground but then it can get really messy I have a solution for that as well and then I also wanted a shower caddy I had picked up a shower caddy but it don't fit if you haven't seen my home decor haul the last one I'll link it down below you could check it out and you'll see which one I got from at home it don't fit I gotta bring it back but I did get a different shower caddy slim one because it's a small bathroom and this is a very small bath I didn't even test to see if it'll fit I'm just praying that it fits we gonna see we gonna see it's not much storage in here but this cabinet under here is a little it's a mess I think I have one slight solution for it but I actually want to get like a whole system so look out for like a bathroom update like I don't like what they got going on here this is an old toilet they didn't switch it out it's like this beige color and then I did put my own toilet seat which is white which I actually wish that was white can I paint it I don't know maybe I'll think about it that's a lot of work but I did also add a bidet I was gifted a bidet by my grandmother it comes in handy if you can install a bidet install it when I tell you it's the freshest most cleanest thing you can ever do for your boots like okay get you a bidet I'll try to link that one down below as well so up here is something that we actually just added to the bathroom before it was just a clear space I searched and searched and searched until I found it on Amazon of course because we needed more storage in here so if you're able to put something up like this in your bathroom I would recommend it or you can just use the space saver or you can use like the open shelves if that's easier for you but I also wanted an open shelf I wanted a rod because they, it came with a rod in here I think it was right here and I removed it because it looked stupid it's a hot mess in here you guys it is a hot mess good for storing things that you need for the bathroom but then a nice open shelf for like when you have guests and stuff so some guests don't really like to be up in your cabinetry but if it's exposed they know oh I can take a hand towel I could take a this I could take a that I have a little step stool right there for my daughter she knows how to open it up and put it here for when she wants to like brush her teeth wash her hands that's the quick tour so now I'm just gonna get to decorating and just show you what I come up with
probably wondering why am I putting the towels first and that's only because I was trying to build a concept here and I really wanted to see how the black towels looked and it looks okay I really wanted to switch out this rod and I actually wanted to put something here I was looking for different decor and I think now that I can see it I can visualize it I'm more of a person I have to see it to figure it out so now I'm just gonna like move on in shower and everything and then we'll come back to this not an instructions type of girl so i'm gonna read the instructions though because there's a lot of pieces too many pieces <laughs> Okay, so I have a couple of bits and bobs that I'm gonna add to spice up the shower. I got this fogless mirror from Amazon. Amazon is coming in clutch as you can see. <laughs> and it looks like that. I really wanted a big mirror because I do do my skincare in the shower a lot of the times. And sometimes you just wanna look at yourself when you're like trying to exfoliate and things like that. So I wanna put it right, ooh, it's already looking so good right there. Can't wait to put the. And then I got this shower cap because I've been like blowing out my hair and stuff and this one prevents frizz and protects blowouts i didn't really get it for the shower cap i got it for this little holder it suctions to hair and it protects your cap it holds your caps in shower so i really like what that looks so nice and then i did get this eucalyptus bunch of plants but it's the full eucalyptus plants. They have real ones on Amazon. That's where I got it from. They were kind of pricey, but I know like after a while, I think you have to like replace it or whatever. I think I just want it for the look. Eventually I'll get it for the health benefits and all the other benefits that comes with eucalyptus plants. Just like eight plants, but it's actually a nice bunch. Like you can literally put, put this wherever you want. It does come with like some powdery substance on it. I would wash that off first. I don't know if that's supposed to be on there. I don't know, but it's faux. I hope it just looks good on the shower head and I can't wait to switch out the shower head if I do decide to, cause I feel like it'll look even better like on like a matte black shower head or something like that. Being that all this matte black is really coming in clutch right now and like I'm loving the towels. Let me stop, let me just Keep going so we can get to the final look that I come up with. this oil gonna put up the shower curtain it's a nice waffle white shower curtain believe it or not i never had a white shower curtain before but as you can see i'm going for that fall like clean hotel feel a little bit i did get a new piva curtain liner i picked this up from tj maxx i'm going to be using these basic black shower curtain rings and i picked it up from walmart i believe <laughs> I got a little bit of a dilemma. Not really, because I have choices, which is always a great thing. So I have the black one, and then I actually have a satin nickel one that matches perfectly. So it's, do I want to do the matte black look or the, to make it more seamless where it blends in? I don't know. It goes on like a pin. Um, It's a little difficult to put on, but it works.
so I want to show you how it came out. I had a lot of bumps in the roads. My hair was poofed out because I've been sweating and this has taken several hours. I took one break to eat dinner and I had a lot of bumps in the road that I did not even show you guys because it was just a bit much. My fiance had to step in and help me put something up that I decided to add in at the end. And now I want to show you guys the final look. I hope that you really like it. If you do and you find some inspiration, please give me a nice fat thumbs up. Comment down below what you like the most about the bathroom and also subscribe if you're new if you want to see more of me i'm going to show you it talk to you about what i did and let's go all right so this is how it looks when you first walk in going right over to the sink i kept it very minimal with this marble stone soap dispenser and this was in that home decor haul as well i really like it i love the soft gray on it underneath here kept it simple with some dollar tree caddies just got some things for the bathroom here another caddy here holding some stuff a mirror and back there is a mess it's just some light organization until i can get the proper storage solution i really really love this i got this basket from burlington long time ago a couple of hand towels they're not just for show we can use them because i can always put some more back because i have a lot in this hearth and hand with magnolia harvest spice room spray it actually matches the basket very well and it smells absolutely amazing i got these from tj maxx and they actually came pre-filled these are the fingertip towels and these are the hand towels and i love the patterns on it and i just layered it for a nice cute look they have wipes in there unscented wipes for my daughter and i decided to take her potty out and put this attachment She's been using the big girl potty as of tonight and she loves it and then over there in the cut I have the scrub brush So nice it hides so well so sleek and nice it literally matches this and then I also got the toothbrush holder But I put it in here and just some slight Organization in here these bins came as a two-pack I think from Walmart and then I got some Kleenex This is just holding some feminine products and then extra toilet paper and up here I have like a little clear bin with just some stuff and then up top. I think it's so nice I have a Buddha head with succulents. It's so pretty and then a little small space air freshener and Then these little potted faux plants I got from at home this I got from TJ Maxx My daughter actually picked it out. I would have never picked this out. She thought it was beautiful because it is beautiful. I decided to move her potty, like I said, and I put this footstool. I got this from TJ Maxx. They also have it in Marshalls and different colors. I think a white one and a gold. I have my scale underneath there. Really like it. I feel like it serve a lot of purpose here. Resting on it, sitting on it, standing when I need to get up top that cabinet. And then I have my little garbage. I really like it. Black and white, seamless look. It's really small. It fits perfectly and I can hide the trash. And it's a soft clothes love that for us and then over here i did switch out the rug from what you initially see me put so i just felt like it just went more seamless with the look but it does have texture to it over here is what i decided to add and that is this window mirror i actually have two of them i got them from i think at home and i really love it it's like this cool green the other one i have in the entryway and then this one i didn't know what to do with it i had it in the bubble wrap still and then my mom gave me this great idea of putting it over top the towels just just to give like a pop of color but like a subtle color and it does match the gray in this vase perfectly which i love and it's like not a full out mirror because of the boxes but i really really love it it makes in here look bigger in here because of the mirrors we know mirrors make small spaces look way bigger and then i did switch the towels that i had here the black to me was a little bit too bold being that i didn't have a painting i did have these textured ones black and white from walmart so i have the towel and then i have the hand towel so i just layered it and it literally is a seamless look just everything right here it's really nice i did find over the door organizer to fit and close very nicely so i just have a couple of things here and you know anywhere i could stick a plant i'm gonna stick a plant because i love plants whether it be real plants or faux plants i don't have to keep it like this but this is it for right now and then i just love that it has the hardware here i did get this from tj maxx really good price and then it has one two three four five hooks you guys so right now it's holding our washcloth plus the current shower cap that i'm using and i left this one empty for whomever's taking a shower they can just hang their towel here opposed to hanging it here my favorite part is in shower you guys seen what i was going through but nothing was as hard as putting up this mirror my fiance had to help me it was atrocious you guys you don't even know what's going on behind this mirror but it's up and that's the most important thing not with nails with screws in the wall so it won't fall oh. yes 
<laughs> Loving this. Okay, you guys, so this went up. You seen me put it up. Looking really nice. I added my daughter's loofah, have mine, and then Lakeith's gonna go up there when he gets his out, and then I added some extra stuff. I love this shower mirror. It says it's not supposed to fog up, and we'll see how long that lasts or if it even works. I'll probably update you guys on that in the bathroom update. It's such a big mirror, and it makes the tub look so much bigger. And then over here, shelf that I told you that I organized, and then this is actually supposed to be sucked on right here but it keeps falling i think i have to wipe some alcohol you see it keeps falling i think it's because i have the tiles that's probably why but i'll figure that out either way but it looks nice up there and i just have a couple little things a little plant as you can see and then over here i'm loving it you see that the eucalyptus plant, it worked out well. I'm loving it. It's working for me right now. It gives me spa vibes right now. And of course, the waffle curtain. I know I need a steamer. It's been in that packaging. And then I have the Piva curtain. And then I end up going with the black, the matte black shower hooks. I feel like it just gives it a nice pop. And it goes with everything else that's going on here. So moving on to the bathroom, everything is still working out fabulous. I'm loving in here. It just gives me a whole spa feel. Someone asked about the bidet and the installation. I didn't do it, Lakeith did it. So I'm gonna make him try to explain it a little bit. Take the holes. The holes that's attached to that. Yeah, and connect it to the pipe. Connect it to the pipe. I mean, pipe. you gotta add this. Add the T-ball, cause this is coming straight from here to the T-ball. I mean, without the T bar, it's going straight to this. Whatever it's called. So add that T bar, that little that little T bar thing right there. Add it, okay. And then add the hole coming from the bay to. It's in the instructions. There's instructions basically. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's pretty self-explanatory. I guess there's really nothing to yeah. talk about. Well, I keep basically just follow the instructions. I didn't know he did it, so I thought there was more to it. So I hope that answered your question. Just follow the instructions. It's pretty self-explanatory, but if you mess up the plumbing, you could just, you know, get your super or someone to, but it's, it shouldn't, it shouldn't. Right here, I have this wipes holder from Mila. Until I can get one that looks a lot better. Like I told you guys, I wanted to maybe add that basket there. If I had another basket like this to match, I would, but this black probably may go. Oh, and then it has the rubber parts right here so it's not scratching the wall, which I really like. And it actually fits exactly. And the toilet seat's not in the way. So I think I'm gonna do that. I just feel like it'll look better not sitting there all by its lonesome. I really don't wanna put the toilet paper on top of this tank only because this tank sweats sometimes because in here can get hot. And like I told you guys, I only have like that window in here and I keep it closed. So it'll, if it's hot, it'll sweat a little bit. And um, as far as the seat, it's working out pretty well. Mila is loving it. She feels like a big girl. I just want to get the one with the stool so that she doesn't have to keep using that. Moving on to the shower. So someone asked about the mirror the the fogless shower mirror if it really is fogless you guys it really is fogless i don't know how long that lasts for but we've showered in it since then and it has it has not fogged up and i do my skincare in here and i really love it it's a great big size too this shower caddy that you can also purchase on amazon is really small they also have it in white if you don't want that pop of black you can do white so that it could blend in so it's really small it's plastic but it's sturdy because this is a heavy bottle and it holds it i'll keep put his washcloth right there i don't know why but yeah so it's it's working out well so far i love that we can hang our little loofahs on it and as far as this eucalypt this faux eucalyptus plant there was some <laughs> people saying some things about it on my reel on instagram about what's the sense of having a faux one it just works out for me right now i i use the faux because i don't really want any pieces of eucalyptus falling down on the floor or anything like that so i can always change it if i want i did it just for the look all right so now i want to fill up three of my shower bottles with three of these labels. So I got body wash, shampoo, and conditioner, just for right now. So I have, shoot. <laughs> um, if you've seen the, one of the last vlogs, I shared at the end of a video of Marshalls and TJ Maxx haul, I got this really big thing of Shea Moisture conditioner and shampoo for a really good price. And I feel like these would just be so big, like 
in the shower and they're heavy too so to have you know just some of it in the bottle i feel like would be nice with a label so we can know which is which and then i have these dove restoring coconut butter and cocoa butter body wash so good it smells so good it's great for dry skin and i have bought like a four pack of them on from amazon so you know i feel like this is like a universal type of body wash that we can always use it's good on your skin even if someone like slept over or something so i would like to not have this big old bottle because i have a lot of other big old bottles and just kind of like have it in there and label it so one thing i did forget was a, a funnel yeah <laughs> i've seen some online um they even had bundles where you could buy it with the funnel I'm thinking I had a funnel here. The amount of times I used to shop at Dollar Tree, all these utensils and stuff I had, I think I threw it away without realizing, thinking like, what the hell do I need with a funnel? Now I need a funnel. So I'm going to be resourceful, being that that's who I am. And I'm going to take this water bottle. Okay, empty water bottle. And I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to use it like a funnel. We're going we gonna to make a funnel. <laughs> so if you don't have a funnel, get you an empty water bottle. And hopefully that works for you. And hopefully it works for us today. So... Let's see what happens now. you guys so here is the final look and i am loving it i'm loving the green you and i love the tint on it because you can't really see the color of the product within the bottle and these labels are really doing it for me one thing i would say i would do differently is <laughs> put the labels on first i don't know why i did that backwards i wasn't thinking that as you can see this one is a little uneven the pumps do work i was looking at some of the reviews saying that the pumps weren't working for some of them they work quite fine as you've seen i showed you and it was very difficult getting the conditioner into the bottle because it's thicker and i feel like even if i did have like a real funnel it still would have been a little difficult but i did get it in there so i'm really loving it and like i said i'm loving how it looks as far as the eucalyptus plant just giving a whole spa vibes you guys so let me know how you feel about this i love it oh i don't know if i mentioned they are 17 ounce bottles and i did measure them to fit right here perfectly i measured it open so you don't want to just look at the measurement of the bottle itself if you're going to be putting it in a tight space i love that i can also put them here if you also do get this caddy two of the bottles fit perfectly here also don't cut for my little diy right here some may call it ghetto i call it being resourceful 
<laughs> oh, I keep calling me smart, but I'm definitely gonna get me a real funnel because I feel like the process went away a little faster if I had a real one, but it worked. It got the job done as you can see. Another thing with the labels though, it does say that is waterproof. I actually did get it wet. My hands were wet and it's still fine. It has like a glossy feel on its outside. That is the end of the bathroom tour, the makeover, and the reveal. And stay tuned for my updates, and I hope that you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye.